All right, what's up everyone? Today we have a 2005 Holiday Rambler Scepter. This is a 40 foot coach with some green and uh, kind of gold and I guess you'd call that gold and silver paint um, in between the stripes, some uh, darker green on the middle stripes here, some lighter green on the other stripes. The paint's in pretty great shape. It does have a little bit of checking in those darker areas. Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, checking is when the fiberglass sees through on a real full body paint coach. Um, that will be due to the sun. And generally you'll see it in the uh, darker areas of the paint as opposed to the lighter areas because the sun will uh, heat that area up uh, more than it would in a lighter area. Um, so that's just one of the issues that we commonly um, on older coaches will run into in Arizona. However, we do uh, get very lucky that we don't have the salt. So um, if it, you have an Arizona coach like this one, you won't run into, you know, the rust. Um, and those that can be a lot, a lot bigger issue than uh, having a little bit of uh, checking or clear coat peeling on the paint. Because um, those you can always get fixed uh, without an issue. Rust, uh, not so much. It can be a lot more difficult. So we have in the front compartment here, your propane tanks, which are usually located in the back of a coach, but on this one, they're the front compartment. You have some storage, uh, one right next to the other there. And just your uh, battery bays back here with your uh, batteries, your uh, kill switch and all that good stuff. You have your motor back here, a 400 Cummins motor. Definitely capable of pulling what you're looking to pull. Whether that be a boat, a small car, a truck, a trailer. Over on the other side, although we are pretty close to this Class B over here, is the other two slides. The paint on this side is in uh, just as good of shape, if not uh, better. Depending upon where you sit, uh, coach, you know, you can take on more sun than in other spots, or you might have something blocking one side. This looks to be in a little bit better shape than the other side. Two slides on this side, uh, the uh, back slide being for the bedroom, and then uh, that uh, front slide being for the front living. So three slides in total on this RV. You have a ladder to get up to the roof. Some people take that for granted, not all RVs have ladders, which is important to uh, do your six month uh, roof seal. You have a backup camera right at the, at the top there. You have, uh, you actually have uh, one awning for the side for outdoors, right on the side out here. So the full length of that side, which is about uh, half of the length of the motorhome here is the awning that you're gonna get. Walking in, we have the uh, key code entry. If you don't want to use a key, you can have the pin pad or keyless entry. Here are your passenger and front seats. Front seat here with the Holiday Rambler steering wheel. Allison transmission in this. This RV has 102,000 miles on it. Right as you walk in, you go from real tile to carpet back to tile, back to carpet. So uh, with these older coaches, you will run into uh, more carpet, uh, I would say, than you would tile, um, just being that they used to use carpet a lot more than they do now. Um, however, the flooring that they do have is usually, you know, high, higher quality. This is real tile versus uh, some vinyl and uh, just roll down material that they will use in the newer RVs, all real wood in here. Um, you have your kitchen over to the left hand side right behind the love chair sofa you just have some underneath storage that pulls out under there and uh, here is your kitchen setup you have a convection microwave no oven just some storage uh, there um, once in a while you'll run into these uh, kind of cutting board slide out trays that give you some extra room for your kitchen space it's almost like an extra counter that you can roll in which is very nice some nice storage under there. Across from that couch, you have another couch. So this does pull out into a queen size bed. 
if you have guests. You have a dinette back here. It's always a debate whether you want uh, the table and chairs versus the booth dinette. This has got the table and chairs. And um, another thing that it doesn't always uh, come with with the dinette is a shelf that uh, the dinette comes out of where you can, uh, of course, set uh, some things to get out of your way if you're um, at the dinette. Some storage. And um, I want to say you can actually, if I'm not mistaken, which I might be, be able to fold that down so you can almost use that as a small desk. So heading back here, we have our Norcol refrigerator LP right there. Kind of the same material uh, used with the wood throughout to match that. Here's shower right over to the left hand side with a bench seat. I believe these are Corian countertops. Kind of a blue um, backsplash and then they did the same with the centerpiece as well um, same thing go theme going on with the kitchen behind me is your toilet so with these older coaches uh, another thing that you'll run into on an older coach versus a newer coach is having a sink both in the bathroom and then having a sink uh, right outside of the bathroom and sometimes uh, on coaches even older than 05 sometimes close to an 05, 04, 03, 01s, we'll have sinks in the bedroom, which some people actually like, believe it or not, but they'll be uh, like this, except without shelf, and they'll kind of be in a corner here in the bedroom. You have some pull-out drawers for your clothes and shoes, and a nice uh, counter space here. Back here we have just some more storage and shelves built in. You have uh, an updated TV. I had somebody ask, man, didn't they have flat screen TVs in 05? Why would they have a box uh, for it? They actually did still have boxes in 2005. Um, I would say it was like 50-50 at that point having box or flat screen. So this had <clears throat> a box for... A box TV but those have been changed out to uh, a flat screen TV your back closet space um, it's always nice to have access to the motor from the bedroom so this whole panel lifts up so you can access the top of the motor as well as you can right here the more access I think to a motor the better uh, which is always nice you can access it easily from the back and from the top if you of ever need service which you will need service of course always and it makes it easier especially if you're doing it yourself to service it yourself this is your bedroom slide so your bed will come in and uh, be flush with the counter here so you can always come back and lay down in the bed but you won't be able to go around it when the sides are in you do have shutoffs here as well as a shutoff in the front for this bathroom that concludes this video of this Holiday Rambler Scepter. As always, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you uh, liked the video, please leave a like. And as always, thanks for watching.